right. to be a human being and relative to all. We stand in front of the EPA right now, the Environmental Protection Agency, and they stand in front of us, the Indigenous Protection Agency. <laughs> Them what it feels like to truly protect and understand as water protectors, as earth protectors, as protectors of the air and the generations to come. I come from Oklahoma, Mashte Ponca, obviously, Oklahoma. I'm a Southern Ponca from Oklahoma. And the person that the present president named as the head of the EPA is Scott Pruitt and he's from Oklahoma and I can tell you right now that Scott Pruitt is an idiot who is in favor and in the pocket of the extractive industry who pays for his lifestyle and all the other lifestyles of the one percent he's not thinking of these little ones that are gathered around here He's not thinking of the generations to come. His record in Oklahoma is that he has sued the EPA 14 times. He is put into this position to dismantle the EPA as it stands, which is the government-to-government -government relationship that the indigenous people have to depend on. So we're calling on all of the workers of the EPA here to stand with their conscience to stand with the earth, to stand with the waters, to stand with the air, the fire, the sun, the moon, and live within the natural laws as we have been taught, not within the laws that are created by man that are so short term that in four years, which is a gestation of four generations of babies being born, one year, two year, three year, four year, it's going to be gone. This people will be gone. Our purification is in order right now. Even with bringing in these types of people, they tell us when we pray with the powers that all power comes, negative power, positive power, the powers in between. We know this is the negative power that is here. We also know that the natural laws and the natural powers will overcome the negativity and that we will rebalance. So we're here telling them, stand on the side of right. Stand on the side of the future generations. Stand on the side of the prayers of your own ancestors and understand that this is a fleeting time, but you have a chance to be part of the greater history and the greater shift in the consciousness of human beings to understand that they are relative to all, not separate from. This is not a human rights issue or only a human rights issue. For all of us who stand with the silent nations that sustain us, the four legs, the fins, the water herself, the wings, the creepy crawlers, those that live within our mother, the earth, and our mother, the one mother who sustains us all. We are calling on this one right here and we are praying with this half circle that it become a complete circle of life and that it understands within itself when native nations rise as we are, that we're here on your behalf as well on behalf of the ranchers and farmers who are the breadbasket of Americas, on behalf of all of our relatives who have failed to take a stand, on behalf of those who oppose us because they're ignorant and they're pitiful. I'm very grateful to see the police here arresting this gentleman at this moment. Yeah.